Live from Fargo and serving you on TV, online, and on the go. This is Valley News Live at 6. Just glad that my kids weren't in there. Because the side where it was taken out at was where my one-year-old would have been sitting. A Moorhead woman who says her car was hit by an unidentified snow plow is left with a total vehicle and many questions. She contacted our whistleblower hotline to try to find answers. Valley News team's Rose Itzkovitz headed to the scene of the alleged crime to trace where the plow could have come from. This snow plow, it cannot say it didn't see me there. Kenzie Goodhouse, a Moorhead mom of four, now has no car to take her kids around. It's going to be pretty rough riding in the bus or walking, especially with the weather. Is that how you're going to get around? For now, until I can figure out something. Late Saturday night, just before midnight Sunday, her car was struck by what she describes as a large snow plow. At a V shape, the light going across on the top of the vehicle. It's not just a regular one of these ones that you know do smaller job debris here on the side shows where the crash occurred goodhouse said she was headed in this direction toward her home when the snowplow hit her head on scratching the driver's side of her car pulled over as fur furthest i could go because there's already like a snow bank up and next thing you know the blades of the snowplow just took out the side of my car now if you look at these tire tracks we see some right here and we see some over here and it looks like her car was pushed over to the side came from the light and the front half driver's side and it took it out all the way to the back of the tire. Steve Moore, director of public works, says that road has no surveillance cameras, but the city plows, the ones most likely on this particular road, were not out at the time of the hit and run. Both the Minnesota Department of Transportation and Clay County Highway Department say the same thing about their plows being out that late at night, which leaves a private vendor. But Moore says that's hard to speculate on. I mean, the list is really long, and I wouldn't want to highlight anybody. Police say they're doing what they can to find out who hit Goodhouse, but wouldn't officially comment. In Moorhead, Rose Itzkowitz, Valley News Live. While we obtained the incident report, we're still waiting on an official police report. Goodhouse declined medical attention, even though she says she's limping from the wreck. This story came to us through our whistleblower hotline. So if you need help with a serious issue in your community, call 237-6576 and leave your tip. We'll do our best to get to the bottom of it.